How's it going? Today is Monday, October 16th, 2023. Baseball is a numbers game, incredible game. I've been covering videos of the best hitters between 1870, 2020, 150 years. Here's the question of the day. Are you ready? Which hitters, baseball players in the Baseball Hall of Fame, were the best hitters between 2000 and 2009? They're in the Hall of Fame. Who had the most hits? Who had the most RBIs? And who had the best batting average? Between 2000 and 2009. I've got the answer right here. I looked it up, baseball reference, look at the stats. Derek Jeter, 1,940 hits for that 10 year period. Number one, who's number two? Vladimir Guerrero, 1,751. Next, Chipper Jones, 1,535. Ivan Rodriguez, 1,378. David Ortiz, 1,365. Jim Tomey, 1,255. Craig Biggio, 1,192. Ken Griffey, 1,021. Mike Piazza, 977. Frank Thomas, 904. Jeff Bagwell, 867. Larry Walker, 729. Roberto Alomar, 717. Edgar Martinez, 689. Barry Larkin, 456. Ricky Henderson, 239. Cal Ripken, 193. Harold Baines, 83. Tony Gwynn, 74. Tim Raines, 44. They're winding down their careers. Best hitter in all of baseball between 2000 and 2009. Derek Jeter. How about that? Recap. Eighteen seventies. Jim O'Rourke. 730 hits, most in that decade. 1880s, Cap Hansen, 1,518. 1890s, Ed Delante, 1,863. 1900s, Hannes Wagner, 1,847 hits. 1910, Ty Cobb, 1,948 hits. 1920s, Rogers Hornsby, how about this? 2,085, that's the most of any decade for that 150-year period. Who had the most hits in any decade between 19, 1870, 2020? The answer, Roger Hornsby, 2,085. 1930s, Paul Wainer, 1959. 1940s, Lou Borgero, 1578. 1950s, Stan Musial, 1938. 1960s, Roberto Clemente, 1877 hits. 1970s, Pete Rose, 2044. Five. That's second, the best decade. Hornsby in the 20s had 2,085. Pete Rose in the 1970s, 2,045. Difference of 45 hits. 1980s, Robin Yount, 1,731. 
1990s. Craig Biggio, 1728. And 2000s until 2009. Derek Jeter, 1940. Now, got one more decade. 2010, 2020, or 2019. 10 years. I'm covering Hall of Fame players only. So there's not that many because by the time you get to 2019, you still need a five year period to get into the Baseball Hall of Fame if you retire. Miguel Cabrero, if he retires, he's got to wait five years. Albert Pujols has to wait five years. They're both in. I think Todd Helton's going to get in. I'd like to see him get in. Scott Rowland got in. So my next video will be the 2010 to 2019. Okay? And it's not that many players. I count seven. But we'll do a complete recap. We'll analyze best hitters. Oh, I wanted to uh, point out between 2000. And 2009, who had the most RBIs? Vladimir Guerrero, 1,000. Who had the highest batting average during that decade? Chipper Jones had a 364. How about that? High for Jeter, 343. Ivan Rodriguez had a 334. Frank Thomas, 328. Larry Walker had a 350. Tony Gwynn had a 323. Baseball players in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Who, how do you rank them? Who's the best? One way to look at it is to count how many hits they had in a certain decade. And then you look at career hits, you look at career batting average, you look at career home runs, doubles, triples. So many metrics you can look at. But for the purposes of these videos that I've been doing, analyzing the decades, I found out who is the best hitter in the decade. Now, are they the best hitters of all time? You can rank them in the top 100. I have other videos where I rank them. I really look at the metrics and I really get detailed. You can check out those other videos on my YouTube channel. But for now, 2000, 2009, Derek Jeter lays the claim as being the best hitter in that decade. Next video, 2010s. Thanks for watching. I'm out.